Hi everybody, this is Boog S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Leonard Toys Walmart exclusive City Hunter Predator figure. So before we take a look at the Predator, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first up, the Predator comes with this smart disc, and it has a little bit of sculpt detail to it. And I thought it was just cast in a flat gray color, but if you look closely, it has a little bit of shimmer to it. It has like this little bit of glitter mixed into the plastic there. So at least it's not just a flat gray collar. So the Predator can't actually hold this in his hand the correct way. I mean, you could, but you would definitely stretch the hand out trying to get it in there. So what I like to do is I flip this like so, wrong way. And I just put it through the thumb right here. I don't think that looks too bad. If you look at it from the side, he's definitely not holding it correctly. But that's not too bad. Um, at least I'm not going to stretch the hand out trying to get it to fit right there. And it also pegs onto the hip there for storage. So that's pretty cool. And for his final accessory, he comes with the combi stick. And this looks pretty good. It's got some nice sculpt detail to it. But it is just cast in a flat gray collar. There's no sort of uh, sparkles mixed in with the plastic or anything. It's just a flat gray collar. But it does have some nice sculpt detail to it. A black wash would definitely bring out all those details very nicely. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt. So taking a look at the head sculpt, Leonard Toys did a really good job on this. The helmet looks really nice. It's done in a gold color and has some scratches and dents sculpted in it, making it look battle-worn. And the dreads are sculpted really nicely. You've got some nice texturing there to the armor. And this one has better sculpt detail than the previous one I reviewed, the, uh, the Berserker Predator. Um, this one has the fishnet texturing all over his body. Um, it is not painted on, but it is sculpted on, so you could easily do that yourself. And it's, uh, it's cast in this, uh, like, orangish color plastic. It's an odd color. It should be more of a normal skin tone. Um, but it also has some red pattern painted over top of it. It doesn't look too bad. It's, uh, not totally accurate to the movie, but, you know, as I said in my last review... This is a $10 figure, so you could easily repaint it. On the right forearm, he has these two blades. And I thought these were retractable, but they're not. I can't push them in or pull them out, so they're just glued in place. Um, I might be thinking of the NECA one that does that, but I thought this one did. And this one has that shimmery color to it. It, uh, it looks flat, but once you have it up close, you can see it has tiny little sparkles in it. It's, uh, it's really faint right here. Let's see if I can... If you can tell, yeah, this one you can tell better that there's a little bit of sparkles mixed in there. Looking at the hands, uh, they're just plain. The, the fingernails aren't painted on there. And I did do that to my other Predator figure. Um, I'm currently in the process of repainting it, and it looks really good. Um, I should have taken a picture before this review. That way I could have shown it. But yeah, uh, painting the fingernails on and doing a black wash over top of it just makes the details pop really nicely. You get the loincloth there, and it's just cast in brown. Looking at the back of the figure, you don't get any more of those red patterns on the skin. It's just on the front. So it would have been nice if they would have put just a little bit right here, here, and here. And as you can see, looking at the back of the figure, um, since the forearms are cast in that gray color, they didn't bother painting skin tone over top of it, so that is just gray. And it's the same way down here. You get that gray color instead of having any skin tone painted over top of it. And then you get the Predator feet. Again, they're pretty plain, and painting the toenails on there would really make it pop. So now, let's go ahead and go over his articulation. He has a ball-jointed head that can look up all the way. Can't really look down that far. It can move side to side. It does stop right there because of that shoulder cannon. You get swivel at the shoulder cannon at the base and up here that can move side to side. He has ball-jointed shoulders that... Uh, the left side, because of that shoulder armor, it does hinder it just a little bit, but the right side will move out all the way. He has single jointed elbows that can only bend in this far because of that armor. He also has ball jointed wrists, but they can't move that well when compared to the ball jointed ankles. They can just move side to side mainly. You don't get any up and down sort of movement from them at all. He has a ball jointed waist that can move back all the way can crunch forward all the way, can move side to side, and some really good tilting movement. You get ball jointed hips that can just about do a complete split. He can kick forward all the way, and back all the way. 
He has single jointed knee. He has ball jointed ankles that can move down all the way, up all the way, side to side, and act as an ankle rocker. So yeah, these ankles are really nice. Um, it's kind of weird that the uh, the wrists use the same sort of ball pegs, but they don't have that kind of movement. But yeah, the articulation on this isn't too bad. So for the only size comparison, here he is to the NECA Cloaked City Hunter Predator. So overall, this is a pretty nice figure from Lannard. Lannard has been doing a really good job. Um, as I said in my previous video, these are $10 figures, so don't expect a lot of crazy articulation or paint on them. But for $10, you get a pretty good figure. It has some really nice sculpt detail to it that would really be brought out by some good paint. Like I said, I plan to paint the uh, the fishnets on there and maybe do a wash over the armor. I think that would bring out the details really nicely. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.